Oh, hi, it's Nick Shell. I'm the internet receding hairline guy. Here's my deep thought, and maybe this isn't that deep at all, but ultimately, I was thinking today, I am not popular, I'm not famous. You've heard me say that so many times, how I'm not famous, because I'm not. I mean, there's there's no one would argue that. I'm, I'm not famous and I'm not uh, special. I've said that so many videos, because uh, I just want to embrace how not, uh, like, awesome that I think I am. I think I'm completely average and I embrace that average about myself. I've said that about my, my, as far as my looks, I'm an average looking guy. My hair loss, it's average. I mean, I'm just so average. And it's funny because I was reading a comment today, I guess it was on Twitter and it was saying how, um, that a lot of my videos haven't reached a hundred views per video. And it's funny because I, I never really thought about that. Um, it is true. I mean, if a video does well for me, it's getting right at a hundred. But most of them, I think, fall around like 53 views is what most of them get. So what's interesting is, yeah, I'm not famous. I'm not like a huge YouTuber or anything like that. I am consistent and I make a lot of videos. And so ultimately, that's what I've got going for me. But what's cool is, even I'm, I'm still influential. And that's what I love. I love being able to influence people for the positive, for the good. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's, all, it's ultimately a matter of, how do you get big? You, you got to grow that way. And, and it's so fun for me to be able to grow this YouTube channel. And it's, I, I love reading comments. Like it's so encouraging for me. Even the ones that are meant to, to be offensive, I still like them because it's still like, if you're doing something right, then you're going to have people oppose you. Now, when I say right, I don't mean that like my channel is morally good. It's, it's, it's not moral or amoral but it's the fact that I have some sort of dream and I'm wanting to, to, to grow this I'm wanting to have a channel that while it does other things on the side ultimately it helps men accept and embrace their hell loss and, and help them decide what they want to do about that and be confident in themselves so I think I guess ultimately yeah I guess it is I feel I'm doing the right thing and so yeah there's people along the way that are uh, leaving negative comments wanting to knock that down they don't even have their own YouTube channels but I think it's funny but uh, so I, I think it's fun that despite all that I can still influence people and I just want to say look I, I'm not a person who needs like praise I don't need to have people say nice things to me in order to keep doing what I'm doing because within I'm already confident so therefore I'm inspired to keep doing what I do even if I got nothing but negative comments and no neutral positive, I would still keep doing what I'm doing as long as the people are watching the video, right? Um, but I think, yes, it is ultimately rewarding. I'll get one or two comments a week from like a new person that's never watched and they say, wow, this is what I needed. Thank you for making this video. I am encouraged. So I think it's cool that even though I'm definitely not popular, I'm not famous, I've, uh, I'm not like a major YouTuber at all. I'm just on the fringe the very fringe that most people have never heard of me. I think it's so cool that I still get to influence people, again, for the positive. So, just wanted to say that real quick. I wanna thank you for supporting this, this channel that's not popular and not huge. Maybe one day it will be. But right now, I'm officially not famous, but you're still supporting me anyway. And I'm officially not an expert, but you're still supporting me anyway. So I just wanna say thank you, because I, I do have fun reading the comments. If, if they're supposed to be, be mean or whatever, then, then they're fun for me. But, it, but sometimes, and it's not just the positive comments though, I can't help it but, but notice that I still have you. Like, you're still subscribing to this. I haven't lost you yet in, in what, all that I've done. So, it's not so much to say I'm doing something right as it is to say, hey, thanks to you, because even though I'm trying to figure this out um you're still supporting me i guess i should close by talking about the documentary that's currently on netflix it's always on and off of netflix i feel but it's called the comedians of comedy and uh Patton oswald which is happens to be one of my favorite stand-up comedians and this this was made in like 2004 i believe but it, towards the end of the documentary he says he talks about the obsession years he's talking about being a comic but he's ultimately talking about whatever your craft is that you have those several like maybe three four five obsession years 
where you just immerse yourself into whatever your craft is. And you kind of work out the kinks. You learn what works, what doesn't. You build your audience and you figure out who your core audience is, the ones who stick with you. And like, that's how I feel right now. Like I, gratitude, right? I always talk about victors versus victims. People who are, uh, people who are victors are gracious people, right? They're, they're grateful. Well, sure, they're gracious, but they're grateful for what they have. And I'm grateful uh, for you because these are my obsession years. I, and I've, I've, you know, every two weeks I get the comment saying, Nick, you're obsessed with your hair. Okay, so here's what I think about that. Ultimately, I'm obsessed with the YouTube channel, yes. I'm obsessed with perfecting this and figuring out really what my purpose is. Because now we know, it's funny because at the beginning of the year, January 2016, I was still like, trying, I was focusing more on shaving head and shaving your head and, and uh, you know, all the technicalities. And then I realized, thanks to a lot of you, that that's really not what I'm here for. I'm, I'm here for encouragement and helping you believe in yourself. So it's like, I've been able to see how that's changed already. I mean, I wonder where I'll be by this next January or a year from now. I don't plan to stay the same because any business that's going to grow has, uh, or any business that's going to be successful has to be growing at all time, right? So it's the same thing with this channel. So this is going to change. It's going to evolve, evolve. And thanks to you who have stayed with me and thanks to you who will stay with me. And just like over the weekend, I made that apology video. Some are, are going to ultimately think this isn't relevant in my life anymore. I'm going to go ahead and part ways. I'm going to unsubscribe. And that's fine too. You just got to do what's right for you. But hey, I am grateful for you supporting me during these obsession years as I obsess over creating uh, my channel here on YouTube as I perfect my art of helping men with receding hairlines. So what's my true obsession? My true obsession is helping men accept themselves with receding hairlines and figure out what they should do for themselves. That's what I think I'm obsessed about. I'm Nick Shell and I am the internet receding hairline guy.